Okay, so uh, I guess my initial reaction is so far so good. I think I've done this correctly. They sound really similar to me right now. I also have this at like a bazillion desk. Yo, what's up? My name is Corey Bergeron and you are watching Corey Bergeron Recordings. Behind me, over there somewhere, I have a JCM 800 clone made by my friend Calvin. His company is called McCormick Analog. And over there, I have a camper that's not plugged in. And the goal of this video is to profile the McCormick Analog into the Kemper and to do a good job of it. I have never profiled anything on the Kemper before. In this video, I am going to learn how to profile an amp and I'm going to uh, profile the amp and show you what happens. Quickly before I jump in, I'm going to read the manual like it's 1985 and the internet doesn't exist um, just because I want to make sure that I know what I'm doing. I've watched a bunch of videos of people profiling online um, and it seems rather straightforward but I'm gonna just read that and then we're gonna get started. Okay, so it turns out the manual I have doesn't actually include anything on how to profile amps, but that's okay because I went online and watched a million YouTube videos and I'm confident that I now know how to profile an amp. So, I have this sent to a cabinet in the other room, uh, which I've put microphones on, so I'll show you guys that. Okay, so I have this orange cabinet here. It is plugged in the head. I have a really long speaker cable and on the cabinet I have two microphones one two okay so the way I have this set up is I have both faders um, this is the first mic the second mic the bright mic the dark mic and this is kind of my blend I have them routed it's going out of here out of the patch bay into the back of the camper into the return input that is half of what we need to do the second thing to do is we need to go out of the camper so it's taking the direct guitar signal through the camper out and that goes into here, into the McCormick Analog JCM800 clone. What that allows us to do is kind of create a loop, so the Kemper can then send signal into the McCormick Analog amp, and uh, then that signal can be captured by the microphones out of the cabinet, through the SSL, back into the Kemper. If you don't understand any of that, I'm doing this with signal. I am making a circle. So What's up? So I just restrung the Les Paul here. I've dialed in the sound. I've made sure that I like the way the microphones sound. And I believe everything's set up and ready to go. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm looking at my Kemper here. I'm going to turn the tuner to profile. So step one is the profiling assistant. Listen to reference amp and adjust the return level. Tweak the microphone position to your liking. <laughs> So that is the sound of the JCM 800 Marshall. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit next here. And it's gonna ask me if I wanna adjust anything. Um, for the sake of this demo, I wanna make a profile exactly like the amp, so I'm not gonna adjust any of the parameters here. I have bass, mid, treble, presence. I'm gonna keep them all at 12 o'clock. Same thing with the gain. And uh, I have distorted and automatically selected distorted, so I'm gonna stay on distorted here. So with that being said, I'm gonna hit start profile and uh, I believe this is going to start making some weird noises through the uh, the cabinet. So let's do that. Okay. So that uh, just did what it did, uh, which leads us to the profiling assistant three out of three step three so this is where you're able to uh, modify things um, to be frank I don't know what most of these things mean tube shape power sagging pick clarity um, and then it also gives you the option to refine the profile please press refine profile and play chords on your guitar for a while for a while how long is a while okay so I'm gonna do what it says <laughs> I'm going to assume that was a while. I guess, really quickly, before I compare the Kemper profile that the, I've just created and the amp, um, there is definitely some room for error. It's a little vague on how to refine the profile, so I should probably watch a couple videos on how people have done it effectively. I also am not too, too familiar with what these other parameters do. I'm going to trust the software in here, and we are going to see what uh, the difference between the original JCM800 clone is 
and the uh, the Kemper here. So, this is the Kemper. <laughs> This is the real amp. Kemper? Okay, so uh, I guess my initial reaction is so far so good. I think I've done this correctly. They sound really similar to me right now. I also have this at like a bazillion decibel. <laughs> Real amp. Okay, there's a little bit of a difference there. Kemper. Real amp. So let's go back to the Kemper profile, and I'm just going to turn the volume down all the way to like 1. So just like a tube amp, what I'm hearing is that it's, it's like cleaning up. I'm not going to change the volume of the guitar. Real amp, real amp. Damn, that's believable. Let's quickly just try a different pickup here, so I'm gonna go all the way to the the neck pickup. Real amp. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say other than so far so good, so I am going to save this profile. Let me actually go through this. Store. Author, Corey Bergeron, sure. Instrument, guitar. Comment, Kemper Rig, next, name, okay, let's give this a name, um, yes, oh boy, 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 okay, so what I should be able to do is I should be able to turn off the amp here, the amp is off, turn up the volume, <laughs> And I still have the same thing. So okay, real quick, my friend Joey popped in and he had to give it a spin. Joey, what do you think? I think it sounds good. Are you done with real amps? I think I am done with real amps, yeah. It's time for a Kemper. Five years ago. Joey, are you gonna shout out your channel? My channel is Joey M. Demers, YouTube.com, I think. <laughs> Alright, so just like that, I walked to the studio and I created my first Kemper profile in the matter of a couple hours. Um, realistically, pretty painless. It takes a little bit of time to set it up and I had to figure out the signal flow. I had to watch a couple YouTube videos, but uh, it made perfect sense after watching a couple. My overall opinion after making one profile is it's pretty easy to do and to me it sounds really accurate. I would like to dive into the refining process a little bit more. Maybe watch some videos or check out some forums to, to figure out how to do that uh, to the best of my ability. Yeah, first impression, very impressed. As I mentioned at the start of this video, this amplifier that I was profiling is an amplifier made by my friend Calvin McCormick of McCormick Analog, and he built the amp with his own hands. So I thought it would be a good idea for me to create a couple profiles of the amp, maybe at different gain stages. Maybe I'll do a, a clean, 
a breakup tone, and then a full distortion. Have him try them out and try and figure out which one is the Kemper profile and which one's the real amp. So I think I'm gonna do that. If you want me to do that, let me know in the comment section down below. If you don't want me to do that, um, leave your comment to yourself because I'm gonna do it anyways and it'll be the next video. And other than that, drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.